Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday, new team of the week today. Probably an updated loading screen for future stars as well. I want to talk about that loading screen and some Thursday flip potential alongside of the actual Wayne Rooney end of an era SBC. We talked about it possibly coming yesterday, and it actually did come. In yesterday's video, we talked about it, and uh, we got a little lucky, I guess. We kind of were thinking along the same lines as EA Sports were, and that SBC that they did release yesterday was a crazy one, right? We get one day out of Team of the Year, and we have a massive SBC like this Wayne Rooney released every single year, but for the past three years now, we have had a Wayne Rooney SBC, and it has been very popular, and a lot of people have done it. Now, this one this year is one of the best, if not the best, Wayne Rooney card we have seen in FIFA. Four-star, four-star. You got the upgraded skill moves, and a lot of people are doing this SBC. This is, again, just one of those cards that's coming out that people are having to go and get. And they're having to pay a premium for it because right now, SBC fodder is inflated like crazy. 421,000 coins for this Rooney SBC. 13,000 upvotes. The card can literally play anywhere. He is really, really good in game from what I'm hearing. And that four-star, four-star makes him a force to be reckoned with. So, of course... Just kind of like it was when we had the Dutch links with the Robin SBC that were very hyped up. We are seeing that the English links now are getting very hyped up, especially with some of those icons and some of those English English out of pack special cards uh, that went up today and possibly could be going up further after rewards on Thursday. Now, of course, again, we just did look into the game as well. We saw that a future stars loading screen was released future stars is confirmed now for friday they're letting us know early and i don't know if you guys remember this but fifa 19 when they put out future stars they they promoted it like crazy they had loading screens really early they gave us little bits of information for this brand new promo in fifa 19 and since they've already given us a loading screen on tuesday i feel like they're gonna it's gonna be one of those weeks where they do a loading screen update every single day especially today on wednesday and tomorrow on thursday where they might show the car design and then they also might start showing uh, like some nations, some numbers, some teasers, I guess you could say, in that loading screen. So that's more than I, I would expect that today and tomorrow on Thursday. But again, new team of the week today. I want to talk about that and then what kind of stuff we could see happen on the market uh, with stuff happening in FIFA with rewards, people maybe saving their packs now. Of course, that we have future stars. But this is the Footbin team of the week prediction. Salah, Malinkovic, Savage going to a 90 would be a crazy looking card. That headliner SBC, Lukaku, Callum Wilson looks like a pretty decent card. Delaney would be club 80 as a CDM. That'd be a pretty cracked out card as well. Cancelo possibly getting another inform. I, I feel like he's in Team of the Week predictions almost every single week. Sushek possibly getting another inform. Uh, David Luiz, Bamford is in here. Tadic is in here. Uh, so, a, you know, kind of okay looking Team of the Week according to Footbin. If that is the, something that comes out today, the only card that I can see making waves on the market from this set is really Cancelo, right? If he got a right back in form, Cancelo, of course, links to so many people in this game with the Ronaldo right wing, with the Bruno Fernandes, with the Joao Felix. Portuguese nationality is so OP this year from what it has been in prior years. That would be an interesting card to watch. I think that would make the road to the final move. I think it would make his right mid inform move a little bit on the market as well, but not a crazy team of the week. So if we're looking at stuff that could be moving this week after rewards, let's just talk about rewards for a little bit as well. If you think of it this way, you know, I think less people played a weekend league this past weekend, especially in the in the part of the people in the game feel like they took the week off because they were not playing foot champs on the weekend. They were trying to open packs, trying to get a team of the year. So a lot of people might not have foot champs rewards this week, like me, right? I did not play foot champs. People probably even haven't played division rivals. They might be playing some rivals this week to try to get that rank one, try to get those rewards, especially since people don't have anything in their clubs. That's probably something that uh, people are doing this week to get those pack rewards. But honestly, if you know that Future Stars is coming on Friday, you're probably going to be holding your packs uh, for that promo that's coming on Friday as well. So that's that puts us kind of in a dilemma for this week with, with rewards flipping. And is it going to be possible 
Now, the one thing I really do like, I really do think about is again, this Rooney SBC, because that narrows the market down in a sense where we feel like, um, obviously some of these icons have shot up in price, but some of them have kind of come back down a little bit from where they were as well. And some of the out of pack special cards have gone up and now they come back down and now some of them are back up again. This Ashley Cole baby icon card went from 400,000 coins up to about 600, didn't really sell much there, got listed all the way back down to 440 and is now back up to 500K. You have guys like Mid Gerard who were somewhere around like the 700K range um, for this card and now he's above 800,000 coins. But again, just like we saw with the Robin and the Dutch icons earlier this year, some of the icons just went higher after this. Now that's, that's one area I would wanna look this week for Thursday Flipping Investments. Whatever comes out today, on Wednesday in FIFA Ultimate Team, I would definitely keep an eye on some of this stuff. Even some of the other English uh, special cards, right? Mr. J, uh, Mr. Sancho, 325 for this car right now. He was like 280, I believe, and now he's up to 330. He was initially went to 350 and then was sold back down to the 310,000 coin range. So if any of these cards drop today, now Sancho is an interesting one because if um, Delaney gets an inform today as well. That might make this card go up even further. And again, this card is very rare to begin with. So as you're looking at some of the English cards, I think that's the number one place that I'm going to be interested in this week is the English out of pack special cards that will link to Rooney that people will be using to link him in their teams. Now, of course, a lot of people might be using the Sinclair objective card to link Wayne Rooney, who is in the objectives. Um, if he's actually pretty easy to get in the EFL championship squad foundations, all you have to do is play 15 matches in the manis managerial masterpiece with seven EFL championship players in your starting squad. And boom, you get Sinclair 82 rated left mid people at work comparing him to Kent from last year. He just kind of looks like an English left mid of Kent's stature. So that is one card that people might be using to link Rooney. Um, but I feel like a lot of your English links are going to be the way to look this week and might be somewhere where you might be able to make some profit, right? You might be able to make some profit off of those English links that drop back down, especially in the icon range and on some of those other out of pack special cards that are pretty meta. Now, the other places that I would look this week for flips would be, again, we, can, we, we know we have this Wayne Rooney SBC, but we also have this very popular Ronaldo uh, that was out earlier this past week, who now the like ratio is really close right here, which is kind of funny to watch. It's really funny to watch those, but I would still check in and keep an eye on some of your Serie A and Bundesliga special cards that went up a lot that's, that were sold off a bit when Rooney came out, right? I use Freeze Chiellini. I don't see him on the, on the popular page here, but I use Freeze Chiellini as an example all the time, right? This Chiellini card obviously gets the green link to Ronaldo, the Freeze card. This guy was 350,000 coins at his peak, 360K when Ronaldo's SBC was very high. This guy was down to 320 today and has rebounded back to almost 350, right? If you see any little bit of panic selling on cards like this, the Serie A Meta Specials Quadrado would be another one that I would keep my eye on. I believe I saw Quadrado on Footbin just a bit ago. His inform was actually down from like 220,000 coins, he was down about 10K. Maybe that was just a foot bin undercut, but usually this card's chilling around 220. And if you see some of these guys, those links to Ronaldo, the Serie A stuff, Dybala links as well. If you see some of them dropping, that might be a very interesting scenario where you might be able to find some cards uh, to possibly flip. So I kind of like looking into these. I have one of the Alejandro Gomez cards. Um, he, I bought him at 207, I believe. And it looks like right now he's 215, 217 with Dybala's SBC going out of the game, I believe really soon, if it's not out already, this is one of those cards that I like because he links to Dybala and he was just, um, he was 240K last weekend with the Serie A hype. So I like that as well, as well as some of the team of the years, honestly, especially this main man, Mr. Neuer, because a lot of people still have that um, Jerome Boateng SBC in their team. Now I'm trying to flip a Neuer right now. I got him for 519 earlier today. He really hasn't gone up that much. So I'm kind of watching this situation as well as the inform because the inform Neuer 
is a pretty interesting card to watch as well. People don't want to end up paying 500K for a goalkeeper, but they're fine paying 200K. So this guy was down to like 190 earlier today. He's back up a little bit. So this is what I would kind of do. I would look around on the market for those Bundesliga links or Kimmich, right? Bundesliga and Serie A links that were up, that have now come down, that are some of the most hyped up ones. Like this Kimmich uh, team of the tournament card. He was like 280 this morning, and right now he's 268. If I saw this card, or if I could snag one of these on bid for the low 260s in the 250 range on the PS4, that would be a card I'd be very interested in for a Thursday flip. And again, the other thing to just keep in mind is this market is very rich right now. And my only, my only cause, my only um, throwing caution in the wind would be I feel like so many people have already purchased cards for their teams that makes me wonder... How much rise are we really going to see after rewards? Because what is going to be the incentive for people to be buying teams at that point rather than just waiting on the Friday promo and stuff like that? Now, I think there's going to be a lot of moves around the Friday promo with future stars because that's going to bring some new cards on the market and it's going to be very interesting to watch. But before we get to Friday, I'm just curious to see since it feels like people have already bought a lot of cards to their teams. Lozano's 219. That is down. He was 230 today. Uh, it looks like to be kind of an undercut there too. So, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I would look at. I wouldn't expect a huge market rise on um, Thursday after rewards. I really wouldn't. I think it's kind of foolish to, to expect something massive just because it feels like a lot of people have bought those teams. They might be readjusting for the Rooney. Uh, they might be readjusting with some uh, English links throwing into their team adding some of those cards, and I would still take a look at meta out-of-pack special cards, like your Zaha second inform, your Sun inform, Pogba's first inform, the stuff that moves around every single week, I would still keep an eye on that, right? Donnarumma, 135, he goes from like 120 to 130 every single day almost. Keep an eye on cards like this, they're just your normal rare meta out-of-pack special cards. Road to the finals would be cards you want to keep an eye on as well. Uh, this Koulibaly was like 6.30 today on stream. He's now bounced back. Bibu, 175. What's up with that? Yeah, that's a 10K undercut right there. I mean, this guy's been 190. You guys know Road to the finals have been flying sky high because people are investing in them and they're waiting for them to get upgraded as Champions League games are literally two weeks away. And that's why you're seeing these guys' prices go super duper high. But um, if you see panic selling on those as well, some people are going to use those in their weekend league teams. Like today, if Salah gets an inform, watch out for this 92 Salah right wing live card. Might take a bit of a drop, might be a place where you might be able to get a deal on that card and make some flip profit. A bombing was over a mil today. He's 940 right now. Interesting. Very interesting. And then of course, take a look at your, your regular rare rule breaker cards. Uh, Quadrado, I think was like 340 and now he's 320. So you know, it's going to be, you're going to have to really pick and choose your spots for Thursday investments this week. Um, and if all else fails, just remember that a lot of people have coins right now. They're willing to spend them. Uh, and these English links are going to be probably reigning supreme. Now, this baby Ferdinand was 132. And this middle Rio was low 900s. And it looks like this Rio now is near the higher 900s, which is crazy. Base Beckham 1.08. This guy is sitting at 1.2 on the market, which is crazy. Super duper rare. Base back, I'm the only one that's not a right mid um, until maybe we see what the prime moments looks like. But a lot of these icons are going to be very high. So if you find a spot where you think one of these icons could rise more, do your research, right? Look at some of the English icons, see how much they've risen up, if they're meta, if they're usable, and you'll be able to maybe make some flips on cards like that. I've been watching Rule Breakers Harry Kane because, again, this is a card that's very rare too. English Lynx, you know, you, you might find a deal at a 1.15. You'll be able to sell maybe close to 1.3. Um, but, you know, that's kind of the stuff we're thinking for Thursday flips this week. I'm not super duper confident about it because, again, I feel like so many people have bought. The market is so high. The one thing that I would look into is even though there might not be a lot of people who open their packs on Thursday at Rewards, I would keep an eye on SBC fodder because yes, it's very inflated right now, but people might be waiting for their division rivals rewards to get some untradeables to finish an SBC kind of like me. I'm trying to finish this 88 Bruno Fernandez so that I can use him in the weekend league and have him in my team, right? So, I mean, or they're trying to finish Rooney or the mid icon upgrade, which goes away, I think on like Friday as well. Three days remaining on this mid icon upgrade. So I feel like a lot of people post 
weekend league rewards time frame, if there are people to open their packs, might drop the market a little bit in the fodder range. You know, your 83s, your 85s, your 86s. That might be another potential where you're able to trade. One thing I might do this week is actually trade with the current team of the week. Whatever comes out today, I might be watching it during rewards. Usually that first to second hour or third hour of rewards, all the informs dip. Then they bounce back because, of course, they get supplied with the team of the week packs, um, which, you know, people open those right away anyway because they, they can't save those and change what's in them. Um, or I guess they can, but... If it's a decent team of the week, most people just open them right away anyway. So that's kind of what I would do for the market this week. Thursday flipping, I don't feel super duper confident about it, especially now that we have a loading screen for, for future stars. And there's a lot of expectation and a lot of, I guess, um, hype that I think we'll build for that because future stars is a huge promo. You're already going to start seeing people make concept squads on Twitter and cards and a lot of hype is going to get built into that. Even EA, and this actually, I got to show you this. I got to show you guys this because this was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen EA tweet today. They tweeted this out. Foot Future Stars are almost here. We're sending a Foot Future Star talent scout out to help us identify the player for one of our Future Star SBCs. To get started, which player nationality should our scout focus their search on? And right now it's 40% England winning the vote. I voted for France. And of course, you could sell here. I had my nice rhetorical comment asking if they could scout and try to find where their team of the year promo was because team of the year this year was just kind of an L. But um, yeah, this is interesting. And there's a lot of funny comments down here because I think like right now there's some travel ban like requirements alongside of like England. And if someone were to come in the country, that'd be like quarantined for 48 hours. Um, and so we were kind of laughing on stream today about you better send that scout out pretty fast or he's not going to be able to find anything before Friday. So that was good laughs on the stream today as well. If you are interested in the Twitch live stream, check that link down below in the description. But that's the video for today, boys. Kind of just like we're in this period where the market seems very high. A lot of people have bought and invested. We had this new SBC that has come out and we're all just kind of waiting for Friday is almost what it feels like. I'm not expecting big content today or tomorrow, but we'll see what EA has up their sleeve if that is anything but if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash a thumbs up on it if you have questions please drop them down below and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nathan foot accountant i will catch you guys later peace out